Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this is another brand new playlist which is going to talk about React.js with TypeScript. So on my YouTube channel you might see a lot of playlists on React, React.js, React with Redux, React Redux Workshop, React full course of 30 hours. So a lot of playlists are there. But I never talked about React with TypeScript and now everybody is using TypeScript on the back end, on the front end on different using different tools and technologies right typescript is everywhere so what we are going to do in this playlist we are going to talk about typescript with react okay we might be writing uh, react.js without typescript just by using create react app but there are a lot of advantages when you are using typescript with react right because it is doing a compile time check for all different kind of types your props your state you can you can get that lot of advantage of using typescript with your react code okay so in this playlist first we will understand typescript then we will understand how we can use typescript uh, I, I, I like how we can migrate the hooks context api is the basic component creation with the typescript we are not going to change much in the code okay code is going to be the same just we need to add the type definitions for the typescript so that whenever you are accessing a props and state you will be using those same types okay so and finally once we are done with the basic fundamentals of typescript and react with the typescript like how to write hooks how to write context api how to render the children using typescript how to define the types then we will do at the full stack clone application and there we will be using react with the typescript okay so in this playlist i'm just going to talk about okay what is the agenda of this whole course okay so this is a little bit about me i have like nine plus years of experience working with react and the front end framework since last five plus years in this particular course we are going to talk about first basic fundamentals of typescript which you can totally skip if you already know how typescript works how to define enum classes interface uh, and a lot of other things with the TypeScript, right? Like you can define, you can use generics to define the generic types and you can use generics everywhere in the functions, like basic fundamental use of TypeScript in any JavaScript application by defining the TS config and then using the TypeScript compiler TSC. And then all different features of TypeScript. TypeScript also has changed a lot I have previous playlist which is talking about TypeScript 3. Now we have TypeScript 4 plus, which is load, uh, which has a lot of new features. Okay, and we are using this VS Code which has which has a nice support of TypeScript. Okay, I mean, with my personal experience, I started TypeScript with the backend, but now I see there is a real need of using TypeScript with the React application, and I already started using it. That's why I wanted to put a playlist on this, like how you can start using TypeScript with React and get the advantage of it, okay? Then we will talk about using TypeScript in the components, how to set the props, like earlier we were using prop types to say, okay, this particular component will receive these two or three props and these are of type string, boolean function. But that was not doing a compile time check, that was doing the check at the runtime. But with the introduction of TypeScript, we will be doing all those kind of checks at the compile time okay compile time means when you are running the tsc typescript compiler command instead of instead of doing the check when your application is running using npm run start run, loading on the browser okay now we will also talk about how you can use typescript with the react redux thunk or react redux toolkit and we will write the actions reducers in the typescript and also like single page applications, how to use uh, TypeScript definitions for the React router DOM, uh, simply use for the state and props. Like we are talking about the basic libraries like Formic, React router DOM, React Redux, or React Redux toolkits, all these things. Now, how to use TypeScript with the context APIs, with the different kind of hooks, use state, use effect, use reducer, use context and all, okay? Section five is important. I mean, if you already know React TypeScript, you don't want to learn it, you can directly jump to the section five, which will talk about demo application like Instagram clone with the help of React TypeScript. And then I, I need to decide the, the framework, CSS framework. 
either we can use a material or we can use a tailwind css which is also becoming popular we can try the instagram clone or twitter clone and we will also write some of the apis with the nest.js that is my free that is my favorite framework and i'm already covering another playlist which is talking about the node.js orms you can have a look okay without wasting much time let's get started and let's get started with the react typescript so as we discussed first fundamentals which you can skip then i will start using uh, typescript with react and i'm going to use react sandbox so i will be attaching each and every example link in the description you can play around it without doing the git clone and npm install you can directly play with all the examples okay thanks everyone